Bwana Yesu asifiwe wapendwa. Amen. Jioni ya leo, sivini, lina neno mufundo. And this word the curse. Mtalipokea, you will receive me. Tusome ndugu kumbukumbu la Torati. Reference brother the book of Deuteronomy. 18 chapter 18 tisa kumi paka 19 9 10 to 14 sasa sikiza mahubiri ya jioni ya leo now listen the preachings of this evening somea mpendwa reference beloved utakapokwisha kuingia katika nchi akupayo bwana mungu wako usijifunze kutenda kwa mfano wa machukizo ya mataifa yale asionekane kwako mtu ampitishaye mwanawe au binti yake kati ya moto wala asionekane mtu atazamaye bao wala mtu atazamaye nyakati mbaya wala mwenye kubashiri wala msihiri wala mtu alogaye kwa kupiga mafundo wala mtu apandishaye pepo wala mchawi wala mtu aombaye wafu kwa maana mtu atendaye hao ni chukizo kwa bwana kisha ni kwa sababu ya hayo bwana mungu wako anawafukuza mbele yako uwe mkamilifu kwa bwana mungu wako maana mataifa haya utakao wamiliki huwasikiliza wanaoshika nyakati mbaya na kutazama bao bali wewe bwana Mungu wako hakukuparuhusa kutenda hayo When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard or a necromancer for all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord and because of these abominations the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God for these nations which thou shalt possess hearken unto observers of times and unto diviners but as for thee the Lord thy God hath not suffered thee so to do onyo hili natoka kwa Mungu now that warning comes from God na vizazi paka saa hii the generations even at this time wanafanya mambo haya who do these things ambayo Mungu hakuruhusu which God did not allow na iko nafanya jambo ambalo Mungu hakuruhusu and if you're doing a thing that God never allowed utazamia nyakati mbaya now looking or observing bad times kule sehemu za kwale some other areas at kwale sijui mambo haya yanaendelea sasa lakini yako I don't know if those things are going on but I think they're still there. Kuna siku ambayo si ya Jumapili vile. The certain days which are not all can say. Ni wanaita Juma hawalimi. But they call it Juma and they don't go to their, their farms. Hawafanyi kazi. They don't work. Juma, Juma they call it. Siku tu ya mashetani. It's a day of devils. Na inaabudiwa and is worshiped. Muko hapa mwenda kanisani. You here going to church? Lakini mwashika vitu but you observe something vitu na kusadiki vitu you believe things and trust in things ambavyo si maagizo ya Mungu which are not according to the commandments of God sasa huu mfundo now this curse ni wetu sisi is ours maana yoyote ambaye any child anafanya kinyume kuchukiza mama au baba something that offends his, his mother or father huyo mama atasikia neno au baba now this mother or father hear something uchungu na hasira kali and become so bitter and, and very harsh and very angry sasa wakati wa kuzungumuza the time of talking kwa ukali kwa wewe mwana that harshly to you the child ikiwa kuna watu wenye uelewi if there are any people with any understanding wanamwambia mzee hapo lipofika usipitishe they tell all man the way we've gone don't go beyond that place maneno ambayo naendelea baba kecharo the words you doing charo's father au mama kecharo charo's mother au mama kekaindi kazungu kaindi's mother au kazungu's mother mahali ulipofika the fire of god huyo ni mtoto usipitishe that's a child don't go beyond those words 
If you go beyond us, well, the, this boy will be in trouble. Dunia, Meaning on, on this earth, you'll never, you'll never prosper. Jenga, you'll never build anything. You'll never have any idea that will succeed. Wala kazi ya kufaulu, bidina, and what that will succeed, however diligent you'll be, Paka utakaporudi, until when you return kwa huyu wako, to your parent here. Akuteme, mate. To, to spit on you. Muse, and then he talks. Ule usikia, the bitterness that he felt when you transgressed him. Mufundo. This is a curse. Mama umoja, Malindi, leo hilo neno. One lady at Malindi told me that what today. Kasema, mufundo, I testified to her and she said, This mufundo, curse. This curse. Kama mwanako wame kukosea mwanao. If your child has transgressed you, maybe he's a boy or a girl. Nobody's child. Abana. No. Ufundo unashika mwana. And the curse comes after the child. Mwana uliemuza. Your own child. Ni mama. Maybe your mother. Ni baba. Maybe the father. Ana neno hilo ndani mwake. Has that word in him? Ndio Mungu akasema watu hawa. That's why God said these people. Watu hawa. These people. Wewe mwana, you as a child, uwaheshimu. Better honor them. Kumbe sibure, and yet it's not in vain. Kuna neno liwezalo kukuumiza maisha ni mwako. There's something that can harm you throughout your life. Sasa yo mama kanambia, now that lady told me, manake, it means, utachukua ya matiti yako, you'll take, you'll carry your breast, uyangumute marambili au maratatu, and hit them twice or maybe thrice kama wewe huku nyonya hapa if you did not suckle here angungute will hit them alafu hizi nguo zake za chini tena azinungute hivi and then she shakes her clothes also now we huna dawa no one will have any remedy there hata ukaenda ngambo even if you go abroad hata ukaenda nchi gani even if you go to any country huna kitu utajenga dunia hii there's nothing you'll ever build on this earth usiporudi kwa huyu if you don't come back to this one Mama alikwambia waolewa nyumba ile. Your mother told you, are you getting married in that house? Mimi sisikii uende. I don't feel like you should go. Unaoa nyumba ile? Are you married in that house? Mimi sisikii uende. I don't feel that you should go there. Ah. Oh no. Wewe mama anasema nini? What are you saying mama? Kwani wewe ni Mungu? Are you God? Kwani wewe ni Mungu? Are you God? Si Mungu yeye. She's not God. Lakini Mungu ndiye aliyesema heshimu babako. But it's God who said you honor your father. Na Mungu ndiye aliyesema heshimu mamako. And it's God who said honor your mother. Ukikataa hilo, if you refuse that, hata uwe na elimu ipi? However highly educated you may be, kichwani na haina kazi. It will be in your head without doing anything good for you. Haina kazi. No work for it for you. Ndio kazi Kenya hii. Now that's why the jobs in this Kenya. Jamani. Oh dear. Wa Kenya mna shida. Kenyans are in trouble. Mna shida. You have you are in trouble. Nikitoka hili nimeingia hili. If this thing gets out this one enters. Nikitoka hili nimeingia hili. If this thing gets out this one goes out. Nikitoka hili nimeingia hili. This it takes off another one. Kuna nini hii dunia imekoseka jamani? What went wrong on this earth dear? Ni maneno kama haya nawaambia jioni ya leo. Because of such words like this one I'm telling you this evening. Mna mifundo nyinyi. You are cast. Ile bangi unayovuta babako ana amani nayo. That opium you smoke is your father at peace with Ile bangi ya usiku na mchana ile mamako ana amani nayo. That opium you smoke there night. Kuna mzazi ambaye anakuunga mkono. You have a parent who is supporting you. Anakuashia who lights it for you. Uvute na yavute. For you to smoke and then he smokes also. Una mfundo wa bangi. Then you have this cast of the opium. Una mfundo wa wizu. You have this cast of stealing. Unaishi jela, 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 jela. You stay in prison throughout. Mama hana raha uishi huko. Your mother is not about not happy for you Na to stay there. And now, unasukumwa kufanya kazi ambayo hakuna mtu anaunga mkono ndani ya kwa yenu. You are pushed through this work which nobody is supporting in your home state. Unafanya kazi ambayo si maagizo ya Mungu. You are doing such work with that's not commandment of God. Hata kidogo ndugu zangu. Hata toa my dear brethren. Hata kidogo ndugu zangu. Hata toa my dear brethren. Na Mungu anasema asiweko. God says he 
there should not be any there should not be any among you there should not be any among you you see this rain having come down the mass is you're living them because there are people who pray to God there are people who have agreed to do what God allows to be done right now we're here God allowed that I should not stop gathering together we're here because of that Permission from God. Musuwe watu oh ni melogwa melogwa nana. Should be people who say I was bewitched. Who bewitched you? We only to kiss our sisters. You offended your parents. Tena vibaya. Very badly. Only to kiss a mungu. You offended God. Mungu anataka uheshimu mtu anaitwa mzazi. God wants you to honor one who is called a parent. Tena umheshimu marudufu. And you honor him or her doubly. Tena utunze lake. And you take care of his or her work. Akisema sitaki. And if she says I don't want. Usiende kwa jambo hilo ambalo mzazi wako hataki. Don't go for that thing that your parent doesn't want. Huo umemkataa Mungu. That way you will have to reject God. Na hata ukaombea na manabii wote dunia uponi. You won't be healed even if you're prayed for by all the prophets on this earth. So this pata heri you never get any blessing. You never get any blessings on this earth. Until when you will repent. Just today. Just today. This night. If you agree. You will eat the good of this land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let all of us close our eyes. I let bow our heads. And I'll pray in this prayer, my dear Baba, I thank you for this Baba. Uliyesema wa wili duniani, wakipata na kuajambo lolo telele. E mungu, we we utaseme, we we utatenda, Baba. Mungu Baba ujua ekilio. Kilicho ndani ya umati huu wewe unajua na unaona kila mmoja aliye hapa Bwana aliye anapigo hilo la mfundo mdogo kwa mkubwa Bwana vile wako mbele yako na kusi uwapokee na uondoe pigo hili la mfundo wa kila aina ndani yao usiku huu Bwana uwaponye vile wamekujia wameamini bwana wasemehe na waponye kama ulivahidi tuombeane tupone e bwana timiza hilo neno waponye mdogo hata mkubwa ponya bwana wapate akili timamu na ufahamu uingie ndani mwao na uelewi ambao umezuiliwa na yale yaliyotoka manyumbani mwao bwana warehemu kutoka leo watoke hapa ni watu kamili wazima kwa kimaisha bwana wazima kimaisha na kiroho chao e mungu kiende juu kikue asante bwana kutimiza ndugu zangu my brethren tuzungumuze na vinywa vyetu wenyewe mbele za mungu let's talk with our own mouths before god kila mmoja muombe mungu wakati huu each one of us to pray to God at this time. Tell the Lord, I'm grateful. It's me. I've missed good things because of insulting my parents. I made my parent to stay all night talking. Until he was defeated to it. I annoyed my parents. That way you offended God. Huna makao. That's why I don't have any Dio, huna mawazo mazuri. That's why I don't have any Dio, good ideas. Huna mpango unaonyoka au kufaulu. That's why there's no plan that straightens or succeeds. Rudia Mungu na Mungu atakurudia. Now return to God and God will return to Diva you. That's what the Lord says. Ni Mungu aliye karibu. It's God who's very near. Sungumu sanaye. Talk to him. Kwa kumrudia. By returning to him. Kutoke hapa. Get out of here. Shia zako zimefunguka kwa kila pembe ya ulimwengu. When you are ha- you are will be released in every Uta corner of the world. Makao. You will have a building place. You will farm. Utafanya kazi. You will do the work. Halafu uja mtole mungo mazilishi. Shukraniko. And then come give thanksgiving to the God of the founder. Asante bana. Thank you Lord. Tumombe bana yes. That's where the Lord Jesus. Asante bana. Shukrani bana yes. Shukrani.
Kurani mtakatifu uliye ndani mwa zile shuka. Hakika bana. Hakika bana Yesu. Hakika mfalme. Hakika ile